Now we know that the mass airflow measures the amount of air entering the engine. Now you know the PCM's job is to correctly manage air and fuel. Now managing air, air is atmospheric air, it doesn't really change. When the piston comes down it creates a void and the air rushes in. That's air intake. Then the PCM can adjust the amount of fuel it's going to squirt. The mass airflow is very important in how this works. Now we happen to be working on a 2003 Chevy Blazer with a 4.3 engine. So of course it's always good to understand how this works first before we go looking at how to test it. There are four basic mass airflow codes. The first code is P0100, a circuit malfunction problem. Now this is a generalized code. It knows there's a problem but it can't differentiate between the other possibilities so it sets the general code. The next code is P0101, which is a range performance problem. The next one is P0102, which is a low input, possibly a short to ground. The next one is P0103, or a high input, possibly a short to some other power source other than the 5 volt reference. So our code is P0101. What exactly does that mean, and how does it differ from the other codes? According to the service information, the OBD2 code P0101 is set when the signal from the mass airflow sensor is out of the expected range. Or in other words, the mass airflow sensor is working and reporting, but not properly. So what is the expected range? Well, it can also be called the calculated load. The calculated load is the value produced by the PCM by rationalizing inputs from the mass airflow, the RPM, TPS, and some other things. Now we're talking about a hot wire sensor, but there's actually two wires inside the mass airflow sensor. One is hot, the other one is cold. Why in the world do we need a cold wire? The cold wire is the intake air temperature. It's one of the inputs for calculated load. Now the cold wire actually just measures the actual temperature of the air that's being rushed in through the mass airflow sensor and it reports that to the computer. Now in the mass airflow connector you're going to have three wires. One is going to be a ground, the other one is going to be 12 volts coming from the battery, and the other one is going to be the signal wire. Now keep in mind here the ground should be ground. The battery generates the 12 volts, so the 12 volt wire should be coming from the battery. The mass airflow is a frequency generator. It is going to generate a signal and that is going to be sent out on the signal wire. Now our first test is actually to make sure we've got what we need at the mass airflow sensor. So we're going to back probe. I'm going to go to my ground first, which is in the middle, and I should have 0, .00 volts. Now I'm going to go to my power wire and back probe that. We've got 11.7. Now this battery is down just a little bit because we've been doing some testing on it, but we basically have battery voltage. Now I'm going to go over to my 5 volt reference wire, back probe that, and you can see I've got 4.9, or almost the 5 volts. Again, our battery is down just a little bit. So we've got a good ground, we have good power, we've got a good 5 volt reference. So we're ready to test. So explain what a frequency signal is as opposed to voltage. Voltage cycles between zero volts and the supplied voltage. Frequency is the number of cycles per second or how many times it does it. The hot wire is maintained by the PCM at 392 degrees. It's an exact temperature because this is an exact measurement. It uses the voltage off that 12 volt wire and it keeps that wire at 392 degrees. Now it's important here to understand that the battery generates the voltage and sends that to the mass airflow. It has a ground, so the mass airflow internally is going to create this frequency. It's a pulse width modulated frequency and that is sent out on the signal wire and that is what we're going to be monitoring. Now frequency basically can be explained like this. It's on off time. If we're going to flow current, we've got to turn it on and flow some current, and then we turn it off. The longer or the shorter the on-off time is what the creating of the frequency is, makes the frequency longer or shorter, and that's what we're measuring on the mass airflow. 
Now just like your weatherman will report to you a wind chill factor when it's windy and it's cold out and that wind chill makes it feel colder, well that's because air passing over something that's hot will cool it. That hot wire is going to cool then as air is rushed past it. The PCM then monitors that temperature, compares it to the actual temperature of the air, and it says we're not at 392 degrees, so it flows more current. Remember, volts don't create heat, current does. So it flows more current over that wire to keep it at 392 degrees. Now this is all happening very, very, very fast, in milliseconds, maybe even microseconds. But because of that, it's actually generating a frequency then and that sending that out to the PCM to tell it how much current is needed to keep that wire at a certain temperature. That's what we're monitoring is the signal wire. It is telling us the frequency or how fast, how often it has to send current. The more you have anything powered on that is going to send current, the more heat it will send. If it's on for just a little blip of a second, it's not going to be much. If it's on for a little bit longer, it's going to be more heat. That's what we're measuring here, is the amount of current that's flowing, and it's going to be reported to us in a frequency. Now the way the PCM works is it gets data from the MAP sensor, the intake air temperature sensor, the engine coolant temperature sensor, and the RPM. Based off those things, it kind of anticipates how much air ought to be being sucked into the engine, because at RPM your throttle is going to be at different positions. So it puts out what it calls an anticipated value. Now the mass airflow then actually measures the amount of air that comes in through the intake. Now the PCM looks at this anticipated amount of air and it compares it to the actual. And if it's all in the same amount of frequency, if it's in the same range, everything's fine. The engine runs, the PCM can handle it, it can calculate and adjust fuel. But if the mass airflow sensor does not equal what the anticipated number is from the PCM, it turns on the check engine light and it sets code P0101. So what we need to be looking at here is that frequency. Now the frequency actually can be measured and looked at different ways. We're going to show you that on the lab scope now.